skin is glowing, my energy is flowing, confidence growing, glow up is loading. When I look in the mirror, I see everything I want and everything I can ever need. I attract success, success I achieve. Have you ever looked in the mirror and hardly recognized yourself after divorce or a long-term breakup? Do you feel like your self-esteem has taken a major hit? If you found yourself nodding along to any of these questions, then you are not alone. Let's talk about how to reclaim your confidence. Hey guys, my name is Nikki and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I guide amazing individuals like yourself through the biggest changes with grace and strength. Here we talk about everything from self-care to empowerment to navigating the tricky waters of life after divorce. Now, we're going to focus on something that touches many, but it doesn't get talked about enough, if I'm being honest, all right? And that is rebuilding your self-esteem after divorce. Now, it is crucial. However, many of us suffer in silence, whether that's due to feelings of rejection, failure, or just the painful end of the relationship. Like many, my own experience with infidelity had an impact on the self-esteem, and that could be profound, right? You can't just bounce back from it if you don't know what to do. So there is hope, and today I'm going to show you how you can start rebuilding. Let's get into it, as always. Now, post-divorce, many people and many of us, I'll say, grapple with the deep feelings of rejection and failure. It's like suddenly the knife that you knew was just pulled from underneath you like a rug, especially for us single and divorced moms. Now, this was a hit to our self-worth and it can affect every aspect of our lives from parenting to professional engagements. Now, how do we climb out through this? First of all, if you're new here, you need to start with self-care. <laughs> I am a huge self-care advocate. It is not just about bubble baths and face masks. It is really about setting yourself up to be successful moving forward, right? Setting boundaries, pursuing your passions, and giving yourself permission to heal. Implement positive affirmations daily. And if you're not really sure what that is or what it looks like, I actually have a set of digital affirmation cards that you can find linked below. You can also consider using my Building Confidence After Breakup Planner. It is also available for digital download to help you track your progress. And it's in my stand store. Now, these tools are designed to help you build confidence every step of the way, even if you feel like you're not ready. Now, let me share a little bit about my story. So after my marriage ended due to infidelity, I felt lost. I was in a really, really dark place. My husband, not only my ex-husband, not only cheated, but he had a, you know, a baby with another woman. I was in a new city in a new state away from my family and friends. And honestly, I just felt isolated. I felt out of control and I did not recognize me. I had poured six years into my marriage, into being a mom that I had lost myself, right? <laughs> Didn't know what I was doing, what my purpose was, where I was going in life. Because honestly, like I said, it was like a rug was just pulled from under me and I just stumbled to the ground. Now, with that being said, um, I actually, I had friends, I had family, of course, but sometimes you don't want to speak to them directly or let people get into your business because you do feel like you are a failure or that you didn't do the best that you absolutely could. In my case, that wasn't true. However, that's sometimes how we feel and you can't deny your feelings, right? You feel how you feel no matter what. So I actually had to learn getting a good therapist, right? <laughs> to walk me through the process to begin healing, right? I had to implement certain things in my daily routine that helped me move forward. What that looks like is journaling every day. I was at a point in my life where I was numb to a lot of situations. I had no feeling. <laughs> a lot of the time when my therapist would ask me, well, how are you feeling today? I honestly could not give an answer because I didn't know if I was happy, sad, indifferent, mad, angry. Like I just was numb. I had no feelings. So the first thing that I needed to do in my situation is work on getting that feeling back, feeling something, anything, whether it was anger, regret, <laughs> you just had to get the process started. And I did that through journaling. It was a great help for me. She gave me journal prompts that really helped me to think 
and just address situations that I was going through on the inside. I had to go back and I'm just telling you from my perspective, I had to go back to my Bible. My mom had gotten me a daily devotional journal and I use it every single day. I'll link it down below if you're trying to get like closer to God and like really find what your sense of purpose is and what your passions are. This will help you discover it. All right. It's a hundred days of believing bigger. That journal my, my mom gave to me really helped me put things into perspective. Like, yes, I'm going through these changes. Yes, I've been through this. However, this is not the end of the story. And I thank God that he actually revealed like my purpose and renewed my sense of purpose in myself so that I can feel again, so that I can move and just, <laughs> you know, be a little bit better than I was the day before, if that makes sense. I began to pour love into myself and care about my needs just as much as I care and take care of everybody else around me. I'm a mom of three. Um, I'm no longer working and I used to be a teacher. I'm no longer working in that setting, but that doesn't mean that stuff stops, right? <laughs> I still have responsibilities that I needed to take care of. So by me taking a step back, it wasn't like, you know, sometimes you take two steps forward and then 10 steps back. I didn't feel like, okay, you know what? I'm taking steps back. I actually feel like it catapulted me forward because now I'm moving forward with purpose with, you know, I know what's going on, if that makes sense. So <laughs> I feel like I'm talking in a roundabout way, but somebody out there understands and gets me. Somebody out there feels what I'm trying to say. All right. <laughs> so with the journaling, with me connecting to my therapist, my friends, my family, I slowly started to see my self-esteem start to boost again. All right, with my journaling, connecting with my therapist, my family, my supportive friends, I slowly saw my self-esteem begin to blossom again. And you can too. Now, what I am not saying to you is, <laughs> it isn't going to be easy. It's gonna be a walk in the park. You gotta do the work. And I'm just being 100% transparent with you. You have to sit there and acknowledge that, hey, I am feeling something, whether the feelings are good, bad, right, wrong, you know, you have to acknowledge them. You have to go through the process and know that it is a process. You are not going to wake up tomorrow after seeing this video and be ready to conquer it all. <laughs> or you may feel that way, but I'm here to tell you, don't think that is going to happen overnight. Be trusting to God <laughs> and lean on him for not your own understanding to just move forward and be a better person for you, for your kids, right? I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there. So rebuilding your self-esteem is not just possible. It is a beautiful journey of self-discovery and acceptance. Remember, every step that you take towards self-love is a step towards a brighter and more empowered you. Now, if you're new to this journey, just know that you are not alone. You're not by yourself. I'd love to hear your stories in the comments below and share your experiences, how you're working towards rebuilding your own self-esteem. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more notifications about videos on personal growth and empowerment. And if you're looking for tools to help you on the journey, like I said, my digital planner and affirmation cards are there for download in the description. Now here's to building a more confident, empowered you. Stay beautiful, stay you naturally, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.